Okay, good. Here we go. I'm rehearsing. Here we go. Right. Action. Hello, I'm Lou, um, Lou Caulfield. I am playing Freya Wilson, and today is my first day ever. It's a very happy place to work. It's a very welcoming team. It's overwhelming when you begin because, of course, we have. Um, I started in triple banking, which is when they have three completely separate units uh, shooting simultaneously. So it's an enormous team. And just when you think you've met everybody and got a handle on who they all are, you're on a different set with a different director, different camera people, different DOP, different lighting, and um, three complete teams all shooting simultaneously. And if you're not shooting on one of the sets, Sure as eggs as eggs, you're being whisked off to shoot on another one. We have just arrived on location, again, the first day, and we're doing an establisher shot of Freya's house. I don't know how I feel, really. Good. Everybody's lovely so far. I keep saying so far. I hope they don't turn out to be monsters. I watch people coming in now and see how scared they are. They're like little rabbits that are caught in the headlights, and that's what I must have been like, and I don't think I had that much to do. Um, the good thing about it for me was that I was with Christopher Timothy doing my scenes with him. We'd known each other since we did a film together in the 60s, so I was amongst friends. I was amongst friends anyway, as it turns out, but at least I had someone there that I knew. I've had some strange looks from the school kids going past, uh, seeing as I'm standing here dressed again, as we've established, rather beautifully. Um, and I can see lots of sort of uh, curtain twitching going on. Obviously wondering, first of all, what on earth is going on in their street, but secondly, as their eyes pan across and seeing lots of people looking as though that they know what they're doing. There's me on the end in a dressing gown and pyjamas, looking a little bit out of place. <laughs> it's a shot on the alarm, so it's you know, not on the alarm, and enough for the arms to come in and sort of do one of those, knock the alarm off, and then a slightly wider one from here as she gets back under the car. What happens if I go to sleep? That's the problem. Yeah, we go. Yeah, no, trust me, love. <laughs> Might not. <laughs> We're just preparing to shoot the, uh, the first scene, um, uh, which is uh, Freya, our new character, waking up in her her flat, the alarm bell uh, bringing her around, and then immediately switching it off and going back to sleep. Uh, which, yeah, in the first scene says quite a lot about Freya. Action. For a story meeting, Peter Lloyd, our series producer, asked us to come up with a character each and we all had to pitch back to the team. Um, so I decided to come up with a female character. It needed to be a new registrar and I decided that I'd go for a character who was quite different to the rest of our team. It's lovely because I'm going to clear up to put makeup on so I love being in the makeup chair because you, you walk out looking fairly human. <laughs> Usually. My first day on Doctors was absolutely nerve-wracking. To absolutely terrifying. Um, I was very nervous and it was in the Icon Bar, which is particularly cold. Uh, so I was thumbing a lift from passing by trucks and cars and so on and, and got a, a range of um, responses from people. One old lady actually stopped, pulled over, it was really sweet. Um, but mostly I got crude signs from truckers and uh, van drivers. <laughs> But it was good, a good day. I look back at my text messages on that day to my boyfriend going, what have I done? I hate it here. I thought, I thought that nobody cared, that, you know, that I had, nobody cared about my continuity, nobody cared about anything. And I just thought, what the hell have I done? Nobody mentioned I'd be working with Trini and Susanna. Well, perhaps you better keep your coat on because any more back chat and you won't be stopping. This is going to be a laugh a minute. I couldn't have been more wrong. <laughs> I couldn't have been more wrong, but it was a hellish day, my first day. Well, that was fast and furious, but we have got it all done, and that's me done for the day. So Freya is now established, and she's arrived. 
I've only seen so many scripts ahead and already there is, especially with the new guy that's coming in. There's two of us and let's just say that from the word go, they do not hit it off. And it's going to be a lovely relationship between the two, lovely to play because there's a lot of animosity between them. And I haven't met the other guy yet, so I'm really looking forward. He's got his first shots now, it's all exciting, but we're going to miss each other. So the two newbies are going to cross over and I'd like to see him and give him a cuddle and go. Uh, first day on the job, slightly nervous. Um, first scene, they're just prepping the house and my bedroom. When I met him the other day, he'd just come from set, he'd done his first morning's filming and I think they'd been filming at home, getting ready for their on-screen interviews as, as the new trainee doctors. And I said, how's it going with Kevin? And he said, great, great, great. I just, uh, I've just been filming a scene where I had to point at myself in the mirror. So he had to do a kind of ha-ha thing at himself in the mirror. And he said, I've just realised Kevin's a bit immature, a bit vain. And I thought, yeah, he's got the character. He's completely got the character. So if that's how he's playing it, that's fine. Slightly big-headed, a bit full of himself, probably with great justification, um, but he hasn't really had to deal with Julia yet. Occasionally, I think the thing about Heston is he, he thinks that people need to kick up the backside every now and then, and I think he's probably right. I'm very lazy and um, don't really, I'm quite scruffy as well, so it's quite interesting to play someone who's very um, into making sure that he looks smart and he's got the latest phone and you know he's got the latest gadgets and nice clothes and things, so I'm not really, not really bothered. Slate nine, take three, cameras A and B. Thank you, and action. Cut there, thank you. What are we about to do? We're about to do our first, first scene together. Scene together, yes. And we just met, and we're stuck together for and six months. We don't months. like each other. It's really good. But not that's character. That's not us. It's, gonna, it's method. It's going to help. Do you have to put that thing down? Do you ever mind your own business? <clears throat> I think they're two thrilling additions to the team. I think that um, they're going to really. Um, fit into the landscape of the, of the 12 regulars that we have by not fitting in, by being different to the rest of us. And I love Kevin's arrogance and his sort of boy racer-ness as much as I've seen in the scripts that I've read so far. And I can see that he and Zara are going to have great fun clashing. Well, Karen's so much in her own world. Um, she's not remotely interested in these two people. Um, and she's, uh, she's very grumpy about having to deal with them. What, what her future relationship will be, I have no idea. They can make me go anywhere. The only advice I have is, is sort of irrelevant because they clearly are both doing it. Learn your lines. Turn up knowing your lines. I would say get organised. Work hard and don't panic. They're amazing, actually. They feel as if they've been here for a long time. They're none of them showing panic and fear. I'm sure, I'm sure underneath a little feet to go like that. But um, my advice to them would be to just, you know, work in your own way and not be intimidated by either the speed or, or by anything else. I suppose, I don't know what my advice would be, but to anyone starting, it's very important to say, welcome, welcome to the madness. You just wish you had more time. The, the, the enemy is time. The worst thing about working on doctors is the speed that we work at. I always say to people, brace yourselves. Brace yourself. Assume the brace position. Thank you for uh, following us on our little uh, journey. Oh dear, it's going to be a long six months. Yeah.